What's going on, everybody? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock. Look, we got sitting right there. That's right. Ray Carnes in the building. It's fun day Friday with my two good friends that need no introduction. The brothers of barbecue, the gurus of grilling, the sultans of smoke, Chef Greg and Jeff. Do, 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 Red Ted Lifestyle. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Happy Fun Day Friday, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give it's us delicious. a love. It's always delicious and cold around here, isn't it? I mean, you rang that bell like a champ. But we need you guys to smash that share button because well, we got a recipe video today. We got we got some fun going on. Uh, again, I am a champion, Greg. We're champions all here at RecTech because this ain't no game. Everybody else playing for a second. Why is that, John? Because... Game, set, match. You gosh darn right, everybody. We're rolling today. It's Fun Day Friday. We do this every Friday. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great content coming for you. But we've got to, a, a winner to announce. Shoot, yeah. An RT700. We spun the wheel well, of Rectech. We yep. didn't really spin the wheel of Rectech. No. The hot dog eating champion Correct. here at Rectech Grills. Dylan, our, one of our customer service reps, crushed five hot dogs in two minutes. Yeah. And he looked like he was pretty crisp. He could have, like, Jesus ate crackers. another five. He was he, pretty spry. He was the uh, only clean-shaven one. But it was a good thing Joey Chestnut did reach back out about 2 o'clock that day to say, hey, he was too busy to uh Right. Thank you, Joey. We really but do appreciate maybe you. Maybe next year the real hot dog your contest win. happens here on Funday Friday. You never know. You can have the one in Coney Island. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. But here at Rectech Grills, this is a... Uh, limited edition hot dog eating contest that's right that's where the this money's is the, at. yeah the only trophy you want to win is this trophy uh but guys thank you so much for tuning in this is fun day friday i'm jody flanagan barbecue dad your rec tech expert and with me as always Chef is greg muller your director of culinary innovation and with us the maestro of mayhem mm. <laughs> he's driving the, this bus i was gonna say he's the the smooth love advice talking Ooh, smooth operator maestro uh. of sweet Delicious things. T-shirt giving away mofo. <laughs> Chef John Pinnell over there on the ones and twos. What's up, everybody? Hope you all are having a great day today. Look who we mm. got back here, sitting back there. Ray Carnes. He's watching. He's watching, y'all. So uh, make sure you blow up the comment section. Give him a like. Give him a love. Show him some love. He's here for you. Um, but again, great show. We're doing ribs today. And then we're going to end it with s'mores. Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But these ribs, we've got ribs four ways that we did for you here. Uh, we did the three, two, one method on all of these ribs. We get a lot of questions, a lot of calls. You know, Jody, Greg, John, what is the three, two, one method? I hear everybody talking about it, you know, but, but what does that entail? Um, so, you know, we're doing it here for you today, Shoot breaking you. it down. We are going into the last part of the three, two, one. We're going into our one. Um, we'll actually probably be about 30 minutes on these because we took the two a little longer. But traditional three, two, one. We're breaking it down for time. Three hours in the grill, unwrapped, okay? Look That's that what the three means. Back right there. It looks good, it looks good. That's what three means, okay? Your two means two hours wrapped. So after the three hours unwrapped, you will wrap them, place them back on the grill, and continue for two and additional hours, okay? Then the one comes into play. The one, what does the one mean, Jody? The one means one hour unwrapped, okay? Wrapped, no, excuse me, unwrapped, wrapped, unwrapped. Three, two, one, okay? Uh, you're gonna apply your sauce near the 30 minute mark into the one, ooh, you might not might not even be able to handle those, chef. Chow, please, I got some skills. Um, but, uh, if we were doing a competition rib, when we wrapped, we would do something special inside of the aluminum foil. We would add butter, honey, and brown sugar. This ain't no game, people. Fancy, fancy. Uh, but we did not do anything in the wrapped section of this cook, okay? I woke up this morning, got here about 6.30. The first thing we did. You got those, uh, you may get those. Yeah, uh, you get that one. Okay. We took the membrane off. Uh, I seasoned each one of these ribs differently. You can see behind me actually how, uh, sitting on top of that beautiful RT700, 
actually how we're going to be doing these ribs today. I mean, that uh, stainless steel hopper lid is keeping that sauce nice and warm. Right, Absolutely. You never want to put cold sauce on a nice warm rack of ribs. Man, that is that is chef tip number one for you today, guys. You probably get a hundred of those today. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, this child, one, please. that looks like the Asian. So then that means that this one is yeah, going to be were, the you were screaming all the way on the end. pig rub. But we got some great color on these Man, bad boys. Look delicious. Good even seasoning. I wish you guys could smell the smells coming off of these ribs. I don't wish you could smell it because that means you're going to eat there, them. Get Jordan. <laughs> Check out that deliciousness there. And again, we're cooking on the RT700 today, the flagship grill from Rectech Grills. The bad boy, the Mama Jamma. The number one, the El Toro, six year warranty, stainless steel as far as the eye can see, ceramic ignition system, PID controller, Wi Fi capability. Truly the grill that can do it all, cook everything for you from briskets Ew. to biscuits and everything in between. All right. But we did a mixture. Hashtag drink of summer. Drink of summer. Yeah, let's slow it down a little bit. We're rushing through it. But we did a mixture, two baby backs to St. Louis style. So smash that share button, give us a like, give us a love. If you want to show the whole world how we did each other, uh, each one of these ribs. And you said baby backs in St. Louis. Correct, sir. Uh, what's the difference between those ribs? Man, Greg, great question. We get that question all the time. So really let's uh, talk about baby backs. Think about that word. Think about how that sounds, baby backs. I want my baby back. Baby all right, back, so that's going to be the back part of the rib. Right? Also called the loin back rib. Right, so Sometimes absolutely. you'll see that at the local grocery store or your big box store. A lot of times it doesn't say baby back. It'll say loin back ribs. It could also be um, ones that are marketed extra lean. For you, the identifier, that curved bone, you'll notice those, burn, those uh, bones are sort of scalloped. Now, if you had a pork chop, okay, Ooh. that pork chop would be located right here, the loin. So that's why they were called loin back ribs. And you can see the curve there, guys. I mean, it's it's like that Flintstone uh, dino rib that they put on the car that tipped the car over. That's yep. you know that was a dinosaur baby back. And those ribs are traditionally <laughs> about three and a half inches long, so a little bit shorter than the um, St. Louis ribs. But it looks like that one's already got the membrane membrane removed. No, it, maybe? it does look like that as well, Greg. No, maybe uh, we can't. might we might have gotten lucky. Uh, our butcher hooked it up. Um, but our second set of ribs, guys, we've got right here. This is what is called uh, be your spares, your spare, full spare ribs. ribs. Uh, before uh, St. Louis ribs become ribs, they are spare ribs. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to cut a rectangle out of these ribs. And usually, when uh, this meat is discarded, it's normally known as rib tips. Um, uh, but we've got. And so uh, look, let's show you kind of how these ribs run together. So you've got your spares, and then you've got your baby backs. Shoot, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. So you see how that rib continues, and then you would have your spine right here. Yep. And then you'd have your pork belly and your bacon down over in this area. Right, right. So that was uh, that was easy right there, having these two uh, right next to each other to kind of show everybody. Shoot, yeah. But we're just going to trim these up, and again. When you're Come doing, in here, look, and let me show you. It's just going to be a rectangle. And when you're looking for a lot of people go to that third bone in, and there's that knuckle right there, and that's where they'll cut right across there. Every rack's a little bit different. You can cook these just like this. They're going to take a little bit longer to cook, but be right. really delicious. Uh, but typically, that third bone in will be the longest bone in the rack, and that way you can take your knife and cut straight back and get your St. Louis cut. Yep. Well, give us a uh, like, a love, everybody. We really would appreciate it. Um, again, we're cooking ribs four ways today. They are on the RT700. We're going to be doing um, some delicious s'mores as well on the new RTA850 Wild Side. Chef John is flagging us down. I think we got a good question coming in. Yeah, Shoot, what, yeah. what tip are we rolling that 700 at today, Jody? So normally, anytime I'm doing any kind of lows and slows and, and uh, stuff like that, I'm a 250 kind of guy. Uh, it. The, I feel like the food gets done in a decent amount of time. Shoot, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm not sitting there waiting 
Uh, it also, you know, is a little bit hotter. That way it renders down that fat a little bit quicker. Yep. Um, giving my, making my meat a little bit more tender. And a lot of it, you know, there's not really a right or a wrong way. If you want to roll that Rectech at 225, right. by all means, you roll at 225. Maybe your Rectech is rolling in that comp cart. Those comp carts are 50% off with the purchase of a grill right now. You get an RT5 and an RT700 with about. a comp cart half off. Shameless plug. <laughs> um, but I'm a, I'm a 275 guy. A lot of what okay. Jody said, too. You want to get that temp a little bit hotter, it'll render out a little bit more of that fat. I roll 275, and typically my ribs are done in right about 4 hours and 20 minutes, and that's Chef John's favorite number. That's oh, what yeah. I'm talking about, Chef Greg and Jody. we got 650 people what? watching. Well, I'm going to wanna... need that 650 people to go ahead and smash that share button. Go ahead and tag a buddy in the comment section that maybe doesn't make some really good ribs, and that way they can learn them something. Right, absolutely. Or, better than that, hashtag Rectech Rib Challenge. Go ahead and challenge that buddy that you tagged in that comment section to a rib off. Because that's a competition oh, that I want to see. A rib off? You didn't say rub off, but you rib, said off. rib off? Rib okay, off. Hey guys, which which do y'all prefer, pork or beef when it comes to ribs? Ooh, man, depends on the day. That's like saying, what do you Very like more, like hot dogs or hamburgers? It kind of just depends on the day. Sometimes you like both. Right, you you got to fix um, this cord for me. I know Jody loves some beef ribs for me. I like pork ribs. I think you know they're easier to find. Sometimes the beef plate ribs are a little bit more expensive. Um, yeah, but, but if I don't, but feel they're like, so delicious. Oh, they're Greg. amazing. But if I don't feel like cooking a brisket and I just want like that brisket flavor, right? I'll pick up some uh, uh, beef plate ribs okay. and uh, you know just throw down that way. Very cool. So you've already res uh, removed that membrane. Well, I didn't. But somebody at the uh, the warehouse factory butcher shop, <laughs> meat packer, or Jody Flanagan at six o'clock in the morning did it for me. I can't remember, but I don't think I did. But guys, you you can remove the membrane. Um, that's the traditional way to do it, but you don't have to remove the membrane. It's not that big of a no. deal. It's not, it, it doesn't really change the cooking aspect and in some, of it. In some cooking competitions, you know, the barbecue contest, some folks actually leave it on because they can technically overcook the meat from the ribs and that membrane's going to hold everything together. So, Absolutely. Did you want mustard for a bind or anything? No, I think these ribs are wet enough to go ahead and we can bind them up. Huge, yeah. uh, what, uh, what are you going to put on yours, Chef uh, Greg? I don't know. I think uh, maybe that. I know you like it hot. I'll go ahead and do that dirty girl bloody mary rub. Okay then, mm, I because like I want maybe a little bit more of a savory rub, mm. a little bit more of a kind of a salty, delicious umami. And, and I like that Worcestershire, that horseradish. And normally we use like a paper towel, you know, or like a fork to remove that membrane. But that one seemed to be a little bit easier uh, than most of them. So I just used my hands, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, guys, you can leave the membrane on there. It's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt anything. Don't overthink it. John, you got a good question out there? Yes. Uh, John Starzik asked, is there any value to super smoking at 180 degrees for the first three hours? I, I don't think, think so. so. I think you're, at that at that Just temperature, rubbery. you're not developing any caramelization. You're not rendering out any any fat. Um, sometimes if you go too low, too long, in the case of chicken, you just get like a weird texture. Correct. So for me... That's where a lot of people make a lot of mistakes, in my opinion, Chef Greg, is I, going so low and just, oh, I want so much smoke on there. I want to taste an ashtray. Nobody wants sure. to taste an ashtray. And not even that, but like, John, I love you. Top fan. But I don't want to waste 20 hours cooking a brisket or a pork butt. Right. I mean, true. I tend to cook it like 325 for a lot of that stuff. One, because I like the consistency it gives the meat. But moreover, the color I'm a little too. impatient. Color, yeah. baby. I'm a little impatient. You saw that brisket we did on After Hours, and if you didn't, make sure you jump back uh, a couple days in Facebook lane and watch that. But that brisket we cooked in about four and a half hours. Right. Hey, Easy peasy, mean, lemon squeezy, man. Do you guys ever marinate your ribs overnight? You know, uh, if I'm, in some cases we do. I'm do for my one hour ribs. I do marinate them in some teriyaki soy ginger mixture, um, but I only marinate them for uh, an hour or so. You don't yep. want to have too much in there because again, with the four hour ribs, you know you have uh, uh, a tendency to burn uh, a lot of those sugars. And if I'm so doing like a competition style rib, I might inject it, you know, the evening before, um, and then rub it down um, the morning of. And it kind of just depends on what's going on. But typically, since it's a thin piece of meat. You don't need a lot of time to get a lot of flavor in there. And if you tend to season too early, you know, 24 or 48 hours out, you're going to almost cure that pork and right. you're going to get a different texture point, to Fred. the meat. So, again, just kind of be smart about what you're using. Now, if I'm using the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub, I'm probably going to season this, let it sweat on the counter or in the fridge for yep. half hour and go right to the grill. Right. So, normally we would just let these bad boys sweat to death, um, uh, but we'll just put them down below. 
and uh, get to them in just a little bit after the show today. Well, I think we're the only ones sweating to death here on Jody. camera. So Brian Whitley is out there, and I hey, guess Brian. he's talking to his friend Steven Riggs, and they say maybe they should ditch Traeger and move on over to Rec Tech. That's what do not you have a, to say about that? That's well, not a maybe. That's a shoot. Yeah. Well, it just depends on if they like the finer things in life. You know, that's if they like quality about. products, yeah. if they like um, being able to talk to customer service agents that actually work for the company, you know, True. if they unless they want to talk to a customer service agent that's farmed out, that's right. uh, hired they, outside of the company. Doesn't know how to cook yeah. or use a pellet grill. You know, if they don't want to have the, the owner's personal cell phone number oh, really? uh, at their disposal, yes. they should oh. definitely just keep stay with the Traeger, that's you know. True. If that's they don't true. like having a you know bumper to bumper warranty that's longer than Traeger's, you know, if they How y'all doing today? more dependable uh, yeah. grill that's uh, thicker, stronger, faster. And again, we cut out the middleman here at Rectech. Uh, we're factory direct, so we're able to offer you a much better product at a much cheaper price. That's just what it's all about right here. And that's how you live the Rectech lifestyle. And who wouldn't want to be a part of the Rectech family? I mean, we got grillers yeah. all over the globe having a lot Part of, of fun. a live studio audience. We do, in fact, a couple people on the, the breezeway over there, um, bringing you guys great content. Not because we have to, because we want to, and we love it. We love cooking with you guys, and uh, more important. Lee, we love watching you guys cook what we cook. Shoot you, man. So, That's the best thing. You know, the best you guys. part about my Saturday and Sunday is going through that Facebook feed, watching the things that we've cooked all week long, and just hitting those home run after home run after home run after home run. Mm -hmm. John, you got another question before yes. we season up these, before we sauce up these ribs today? Yeah. Tick, tick. Do you guys ever inject your ribs? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. Um, for me, if I'm looking for a different flavor profile or, you know, in my competition ribs, I do inject. But yeah. sometimes the ribs just look really good and I don't. So, I mean, you know. So we all, I always inject the competition, but I will never inject ribs at home. It's just too much work for me. Yeah. I, don't get, uh, I don't get that much out of it. You know, my family loves the ribs that, that the Rectech RT700 produces. Well, when Max and John Dillon get a little bit older and they can well, wash the dishes, there you go. Well, then at that point well, you will because then they'll wash gonna it want, up. They'll probably want to. I've got three dishwashers at the house, so, I mean, it kind of works out okay. Hey, <laughs> talk to me about the silver skin. Leaving the silver skin on the ribs, how does that change the bite or the texture of the meat? So when you remove that membrane on the back, what's going to happen is you created a little barrier there. So normally when the meat sweats and drips, you might lose a little moisture removing that membrane. That, moist, that membrane on there will help hold the bones in place. So a couple of these racks are really tender. If that membrane was intact, they wouldn't fall apart, um, but they'd be a little more pliable. And I know like an IBCA uh, style competition rib, a lot of folks leave that membrane on so they can get that meat more tender. Because again, those judges are eating that uh, rib with a knife and fork. Whereas on the KCBS side, again, we cook a little bit different rib. Um, they're picking up eating it with their hands. So kind of difference of opinions there. And some folks like to, and I'm from that same school of uh, thought, maybe I'll get that RTB 380 Bullseye ripping hot and kind of char that membrane on the back and get a little crispy crunchy on the back. But come on, Jordan, get on in here and take a look. Yep, so what I'm doing is saucing up these Ron Screaming Pig Rub. I actually got some jerk barbecue sauce that we made up. That's right, some jerk barbecue sauce. It looks absolutely So we got like delicious. some habanero in there and some citrus and some... Five spice. Woo, chow please. But you can see in that Ron Screaming Pig, it has some of that spice, uh, so it helps it out. And we're going to label these to let us know that these are spicy by putting some jalapenos on there. Mm -hmm. Now you're touching those peppers Ooh, without so some, uh, some gloves. Yeah, make sure when you touch any sort of hot peppers, make sure you guys wash your hands really good because you don't want to do what happened to our sales manager, AB, and get some spicy food on your hands and or your face and then rub your eyes. So this uh, Asian persuasion season ginger in there. rib, we got some ginger, we got some sesame. This is like a teriyaki glaze that we're going to put on here. And again, we're going to label it a little bit just to let us know what's in there if we didn't already have some sesame seeds we're gonna put some toasted sesame seeds on so, there Jody, what i'm seeing here is we've got some non-traditional ribs going on as far as flavors but these are going to be some slamming ribs absolutely we got them four ways uh and the only thing really different is the seasoning that we put on there and then the sauces that are going on there but this is a uh, spicy garlic buffalo mm. sauce all right time out do you say we got buffalo garlic ribs we got buffalo garlic ribs here i guarantee you somebody on the internet is going to make this recipe copy us 
and say that they invented it. I guarantee you. Hey, watch well, you it. Know, imitation's the highest form of flattery. I mean, Daddy. just like that queso, we got the we got the timestamp on that, so we know we did that queso like three years ago. <laughs> but this Man, is that looks we're doing good. buffalo ribs today, guys. Here we go. And the last one, seasoned with that Ben's heifer dust. We're gonna go traditional. We got some of that Yes Deer traditional sweet barbecue sauce. Oh, that Yes Deer comp sauce is so tasty. Chef Greg, John Dillon asks, are there any tips to keeping the bone straight up and down for clean slicing? The biggest thing you gotta do is make really good friends with your meat purveyors and butchers, and you pick through every case, yeah, every no, rack, you're gonna and get, hand pick you're gonna get crooked bones. that rack. Um, there are oftentimes we'll buy a couple cases, and we got a big uh, rec tech family around here that work here, and uh, I'll pick up four or five cases of ribs, and I might only find eight racks that are competition worthy, but you better believe that they're going to eat really good around here. That's what I'm talking about. Chef Greg, another question. Look at that, Any tips with smoking venison or a leaner red meat? It looks All right, absolutely so you kind of did a little quandary there. When you talk about cooking leaner Again. meats, you want to make sure that you go a little bit more hot and fast on those because when you smoke a leaner meat. You're not rendering out any of that fat because it's not there. All you really do is kind of getting a weird texture on that. So when you smoke things like venison backstraps and loins, and even in some cases venison hams, um, go hotter, you know, 275, 300. Uh, when we do ven venison backstrap, I tend to sear it, so I'm like 500 plus. So anything lean just like chicken breasts, hot and fast. If it's got a lot of fat to it, you can go a little bit more low and slow. Um, but there is kind of that give and take as far as texture, and you don't want to have a sort of grainy, overcooked, like weird texture to a lean piece of meat. Shoot, yeah, baby. Do we ever have to add a water pan to our grill to add moisture to our Only cooks? if you're looking to freeze that water into some smoked ice cubes. That's it. Um, the Rectech grill will give you the perfect balance of heat and humidity within that grill. There's about 10% humidity in those pellets and that'll give you the perfect moist Shoot cooking you. environment um and uh do we still have blogs on the, uh, on the website we do dot chef greg uh, we got rid of the blogs but well jody wrote a great blog on some wood and maybe go ahead and follow him on all social media shoot him a dm right, for sure um, and he can send you that blog because i know you still have it it was a good, it was a good yeah no no uh, it's awesome blog. uh no more questions john uh just to give you, give you guys a heads up you know besides pig or pork ribs, you know, people also eat beef ribs. Mm -hmm. People also uh, eat uh, lamb, oh, I love uh, venison, lamb elk, bison. Mm -hmm. uh, some folks in other countries, ostrich, if you're an alligator. You ever had vegetarian ribs? I've never had vegetarian ribs. Uh, what I vegetarian actually went ribs? to the grocery store. It was one of the health food stores in town. And I kid you not, uh -huh. they had a vegetarian rib was it tofu as the uh bones I, and something I, else as the meat it looked a little interesting i almost bought it but i figured i would probably get struck by lightning in the parking lot leaving so i left it there right right. it right. looked a little interesting uh how do you think like alligator ribs would taste so what's funny enough is i've had alligator wings before mm. but it's actually not it's more of like part of its foot it's amazing delicious very cool yeah, I like alligator. Right. No, I, we uh, did a couple of alligators here. You know, a lot of people ask us what's our craziest cooks. It's a toss up between that ost uh, not ostrich, but octopus and alligator. Well, I mean, that alligator literally got shot, skinned, and cooked within 45 minutes. Right. Super fast. But today, it's Fun Day Friday, guys. We're here live from the Rec Tech Grills Worldwide Headquarters, beautiful Evans, Georgia. We really do appreciate you guys for tuning in. Ribs four ways. Go ahead and smash that share button because we got more going on than just ribs. That's right. And uh, we've, we're also announcing a RT700 winner at the end of the show. And then we also might be giving away some T-shirts. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if we're feeling frisky. If everybody could smash that share button. Um, Shoot, but, yeah. But again, ribs four ways. And then we've got a little special surprise on the RT850 wild side. Um, uh, but I guess, you know, I, I had a question. Greg, so much, not for John, but more for you because, okay. you know, you've got Isabel there. Um, why is Peppa Pig not very good at basketball? Oof. I love me some Peppa Pig now. Right. You know, because it's right. Daddy Pig. Right, oh. Mommy Pig. I don't know, man. What you got me on that one? She's a ball hog. Oh! No! Oh! Hi, y'all. Who the heck is Peppa Pig? It's that, Peppa, ah, Peppa, Peppa Pig. Pig. Peppa Pig. It's a Pig. child's cartoon, oh, John. Okay. And they, well, the, we cartoon. read the books a lot. It's in their, you know, they their little introduction. Everybody snorts. Hips. Yep. And, and they have it. They're. It's over. You know, over the pond, they have accents. Yes. Oh. 
So, so it's you know, Peppa and George, her little brother, and, and oh, Daddy English Pig and Mommy Pig. Right, and a lot of my, my buddy's kids, they they call their mom and dad Mummy and Daddy yeah. because they watch Peppa Pig. <laughs> but the best, the best Peppa Pig ever episode is when they lost their electricity. Okay. And... This maybe a week later is we lost power at the house and she's like, oh no, we have no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> aluminium, daddy. I love aluminium. I need to catch up. I'm way behind. Yeah, you're, well, pig. soon, John. You're, it's coming the soon. I guarantee I you. Peppered is that delicious bacon that I had. That peppered <laughs> bacon. It was delicious. Let's smash that share guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. We're about to pull these ribs off. Well, it's probably about time. We can go ahead and do that. Again, we did ribs four ways. Uh, uh, we did a baby back seasoned with Ron Screaming Pig Rub. Then we glazed it with a delicious jerk barbecue sauce. The second baby back. Well, how back, about we just do the first rack and then we can introduce the second rack after that? Yes, sir. Let's I do like it. Uh, I like your flow. A little, a little. I like uh, your show flow. A little bit of uh, anticipation. But John, uh, what did you guys do for mix it up? Oh God, late night munchies. Munchies. What did you guys do it? We did a cake pops. It is Oh cake pops. Man, they were delicious. It's so simple. It's like four ingredients. Melted some chocolate, showed everybody how to use a double boiler on the grill. It was great. Absolutely. You got him mi mixed up, though, because he himself. I did. I, the I one who never twists his tongue mm -hmm. <laughs> called it Mix It Up Munchies. I did. I was having a, a He was having a rough day. Oh, no. Oh, I hate to hear it that. It was actually, you know, it was, it was all in good fun. It was pretty funny. Right. It was fun. How y'all doing today? But this, oh, you can smell that jerkiness Man, in it. it um, so seasoned with that Ron Screaming Pig Rub, and mm. then we got some of that jerk barbecue sauce on mm. it. It's going to taste absolutely delicious. Go ahead and, if you want to, uh, we'll let that rest, and then we'll pull the other one off. I got sure can. I see, I I see where parts. you're going. I need to see some wow faces. Guys, it smells delicious. Man, if anybody on the media team is listening, if you guys can come down with a iPhone, we'd really like to get a picture of all four of these ribs right next the, to each uh, other. I think the media team was on their way across the breezeway for lunch. Oh, I man. saw three of them go that <laughs> way. Shoot, yeah, that's awesome. All right, so the second set of ribs <laughs> is going to be seasoned with that Jody's Asian Persuasion. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're also going to get a delicious teriyaki. Uh, glaze on the outside. You can get like a teriyaki uh, sauce. Actually used yep. very, very teriyaki right here. And the good here. part about that teriyaki, or, or I like the thinner style teriyaki. It's not like the really thick glaze. Thank so you, Charlie. So look for teriyaki sauce, not teriyaki glaze. That glaze will be a lot thicker and definitely more sugar to it. Right, right. Absolutely. Very good point, Greg. But the, both of these are baby backs, but you can see how they're kind of very different uh, shape for sure. You can see this bone. <laughs> you said very she said it was very, very teriyaki. Uh, oh, yeah, very, very. Okay. Ah, so man. you can see uh, when you guys Dude. turned around after I put our buffalo sauce on here, I also put some delicious uh, fried onions on top just to, just to do something Jody. different. But I guarantee you this recipe, once we put it out, is going to get stolen. I guarantee you. Try these ribs. I promise you, these buffalo ribs, you'll absolutely love them. Uh, Jordan's licking his chops right now. And then the fourth Ooh, rack coming man. off. This is a traditional. We seasoned it with that Ben's heifer dust. Oh, oh I love that Ben's heifer dust. Look at the right sheen on there. Oh my yeah, gosh. thank you to Yes Deer Competition Sauce. And you can and pick again, up that comp sauce at AtlantaBBQStore.com. Rectech 10 will give you 10% off, but they were sponsors from Rectech Academy. Absolutely. Oh coming back goodness. to our buffalo uh, rib. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you what it was seasoned with. That Casanova's Competition mm. Rub. Mm. You oh, got that man. celery salt in there? But I'm going to wow. put them all up front here. That way you guys can see what they were all seasoned with. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All of these rubs are available at rectechgrills.com. Uh, we have very few ingredients in our rubs. But it's the best ingredients. Correct. And we were very, the ice cream man is here. The it's ice hot. cream man it's is here. It's hot outside, y'all. And the best yeah. part about our rubs is I love the texture and consistency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. So mm -hmm. some rubs are a little bit more coarse. Some rubs have a little bit more of a finer grind. But I'm telling you, probably the most flavor-packed bottles of seasoning you will ever use without a doubt man. msg good stuff. free and gluten free good stuff mm. Mm. oh man uh so today we're sipping on some delicious bit burger i've got their fest beer yeah, yeah. they sent us some of this uh, delicious um german style fest beer. and i've got that hippo the sorry triple hopped lager it's good stuff yep they What's did that, that cup, chef greg <laughs> Hashtag drink a summer. Okay. And then John, what you got? What Pinky are you out. sipping on over there? Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, drink a summer, and I'm also drinking. What am I drinking? That here, Big Joe? Burger Pilsner, man. That Big Burger Pilsner. This <laughs> stuff is <laughs> built. Bip, bip, bip. Built burger. Well, welcome bit to burger. Good Burger. Home of your Good Burger. Big Burger, burger, burger Pilsner, brother. 
Uh, but thank you to Bitburger for uh, sending out some delicious beer for us to try. I can honestly say I have never had a rack of buffalo ribs. Well, let's just go and let's I just could do that. be more exciting. Let's just do that. Go ahead and smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love, ladies and gentlemen. We've got four You want to start right ribs. to left, left to right? Uh, sure, Greg. I like, uh, I like your style there. But these, again, beautiful sheen on these. Uh, we, let it, we sauced them for about, you know, probably 15 to 20 minutes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And again, these are going to be fall off the bone, three, two, one ribs, guys. If you want um, a little bit more texture, if you want to be able to bite through it, I suggest going 321 at 225 degrees. But 250 degrees, 321, that's where you're going to get fall off the fall off the bone. Fall off the bone. John, do I mean, these look a, good on the screen? A, I was in a cut they one look and a half. delicious See, on the just, screen and everybody is going wild. And these uh this is how you're able to do make like a uh, McRae sandwich. Come on, John. If you wanted okay, to, okay. you can use this whole rack of ribs and put it on a big sub. Shoot, yeah. Ooh, and make like sub. a make your own version of the, the McRib. I like boneless ribs. Oh son, that sauce. That Ben's heifer dust. A lot of people sleep on the Ben's heifer dust with pork. Man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all did, did an outstanding job. Yeah, look, man, and it even looks good, too. It's yeah, pretty. Got a smoke ring on it. Right. Absolutely good texture. Y'all killed it. It's fall off the bone, but it's still Ooh. got a little bite to it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Very happy with those ribs, ladies and gentlemen. We encourage you to try those. Season them with that Ben's heifer dust. And put a little bit of maple barbecue sauce on the outside for the last 30 minutes. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. I am super excited for this right here. Mm. I don't want to fill up because I want to try these. So this is our newly invented buffalo rib with uh, fried so onions good. on the outside. That buffalo sauce was easy. Two sticks of butter, uh, about two cups of buffalo sauce, uh, about four tablespoons of garlic. Oh yeah. Wow. Come on, John. Fried that onions on top. Delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. Fried onions, that was genius. I love it's different. You Hold on. Yeah, you, have a, you have a beautiful moment and it comes together with It's Friday. different. God, it's different. Woo! We got oh, that's hot. That's hot sauce right there. A lot Ooh. of garlic in here. Good good heat. Mm. That's delicious. Good. Oh, oh my God. God. That's great. Okay. That is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Buffalo sauce, Jody. Oh my God. You're doing it. Mm. We did it, everyone. I think I'm making this We did on it Saturday. with y'all. Yeah. You did this. Congratulations. I think I'm making that on Saturday. Woo. Jody, that was awesome. So number one's good. Number two's even better. Yeah. Try number two three. Two is pretty ridiculous. Number three, again, seasoned with that Jody's Asian Persuasion. And then sauced with some of that teriyaki sauce. Uh, get your own version. Make your own version or buy it at the store. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put a little bit of sesame seeds on top mm. just to differentiate it from, from both of the other ribs. Okay. These had some shiners in them, though. The mat, like the fl aftertaste on that? So yeah. good. Oh, oh, I also yeah. put chicken, a little bit of chicken, uh, better than bouillon chicken base in that um, There's hot your, sauce. Uh, teriyaki. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I always love that flavor. Yeah. That's a win in my book every time. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, I just. Mm. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I think I like the buffalo better than these. That buffalo was smack. Number two, still the I'm strongest with John one, on that. I think. I'm with John on that one. I mean, Delicious. that does not suck. No. I mean, one, Enjoy two, it. three, Man. they're all the number one. Yeah. But. Super delicious. Wow. Y'all got me excited to try this. Man, we're doing one. ribs, man. Ribs four wow. ways. We're about to make some s'mores on the RT A850 Wild Side. Did they have a good day? No, I just unleashed it. Um, we're also going to announce a winner, RT700, from our. Um, Hot dog eating contest. Yeah, boy. Annual. Congratulations, Dylan, for being the winner uh, on the table and in our hearts. And what flavor is this, Jody? This uh, is going to be, we're going to season it with the Ron Screaming Pig Rub. And then this is going to be the Jamaican uh, Jerk Barbecue Sauce. I see nothing but clean bones over there. Jamaican. Man, I'm oh excited about this one. Mm. Oh, the smell? The smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. That brings me back. Me and Becky went to Jamaica on our honeymoon. And of course, we hit up every little jerk stand right. that we could even get our hands on. Right. Mm. I just really love good. that flavor. They weren't nice out there? 
<laughs> <I'm> jerk stam. <laughs> Did y'all hear me? <laughs> wow, that's sorry. So wow. We're immature. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. It's ribs, Jordan. It's okay. Cheese and crackers, neighbor. man. We're making making a mess. Yeah, we're wow. making history. So Buffalo. Gotta smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. We're gonna announce that winner. Yep. Here and um. I got gotcha. you. Now this winner hails from Facebook. Oh, here we go, y'all. Oh, got a little beautiful baby. Yeah. As their profile picture, newborn baby profile picture. Looks like he uh, he might work for Quality Seal Coating. I'm okay. not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, quality Seal Coating. He's the owner. Woo. Businessman. That's what I'm talking about. All right. He did work at the Potoski News Review, and he went to Potoski High School, hailing from Potoski, Michigan. Yeah. Married to Melissa Lasley. Mr. Eric Lasley. Yeah, congratulations, yeah, Eric. Congratulations, Eric. You are the winner of a RT700, brother. Uh, our hot dog eating champion spun that wheel of Rectech and it landed on a 700. Please just hit us up. Rectech Reels Facebook Messenger. Throw it in our direct message. DM. And I think your first cook has got to be... A hot dog. No, well, okay. <laughs> or... Right? Some buffalo ribs. Buffalo ribs, man, I'm telling you. But congratulations to Eric Lasley. I'm, I'm probably butchering uh, Mr. Eric's name. Um, but I don't think he'll mind. Let's go over here. Let's cook a s'more or two, and then we'll spill that, spin that wheel of rec tech, and then we'll get the heck out of here. Let's do it. These folks have been waiting a long time to see these s'mores. I like s'mores. So we've got the RTA850 set up. We've got a bed of coals down below. We've also got uh, some cut wood. Are you a double mallow kind of guy? <laughs> oh, yes, please. If you could double my mallow up, that would be appreciated. We've and got these awesome marshmallow roasters. And we're just going to roast some marshmallows, guys. And I love the fact you can even, like, just do one of those. Just set them up there. Open you up some graham crackers. This is grilling 360. That's right. That's the cool thing about another cool thing about the wild side that we really don't talk about is you can grill on it 360 degrees. Yeah. You know, I can hit it from this side yeah. while Greg's hit. I can hit it from the back while Greg's hitting it from the front. Yeah, you could probably have a, you have enough room that you can hit it from that side with another person, right? Right. You could have three or four people can hit it from all angles. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, another cool thing about the wild side. And we say 360 degrees. It's a heck of a lot hotter than 360 degrees. Shoot, yeah. But we only got 360 days. John, how do you like your marshmallows? Uh, like I like my women. Burnt to a crisp. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> or <laughs> I was going to say golden brown delicious, but I mean, you got a little. <laughs> Any of those will work. Any of those will work. Oh, man. Come I on. Mean, you got the perfect marshmallow. Like, ow! <laughs> it's hot. It's hot, ladies and gentlemen, but we got schmores going on the RT. A850, the wild side, one of my favorite grills to cook on. Again, you can hit it from every angle, yeah. 365 degrees. Yeah. Um, a lot of space and a lot of room to store stuff down below. That variable speed fan, which I can, I can tell right now it's on high because I can hear that oxygen. I can hear that air uh, creating combustion. I know it's on high because I can't feel my face and I'm uh -huh. three feet away. <laughs> mm. Jordan, show them all that space underneath. Mm. A lot of space for wood. Mmm. Ooh, that s'mores look delicious. Again, it's got a three, the variable speed fan as well, so we can turn it up on high, or we can have it on low, or we can have it off. Again, you don't have to have electricity to use this grill. Uh, but fire. the beauty of that variable speed fan too is, let's say you're mid cook and you got to add more uh, fuel to that fire. Go ahead and add that fuel source. Go ahead and crank that fan up. Increase the airflow. That's going to get that wood or lump charcoal lit a lot faster. Hey, and Charlie, like you, you want to do some down. Uh, marshmallows? Yes, Come on over here. We'll hook you guys up with some marshmallows if y'all want to do some. Mm -hmm. mm. Charlie, how do you like your marshmallow? Uh, burned up. Burned up. I like it. Get on in there and burn those marshmallows up, mm -hmm. buddy. Hit it from all angles. But that is awesome. We love cooking on the RTA 850. We featured it for Product Spotlight yesterday. We cooked up some delicious... Um, what were they? Uh, New York strips. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you, Jordan, yeah. for remembering. Oh, I know I got some, some marshmallow on there, too. Look, dang, Charlie, you got so that, That's the move right there. that thing all burn up. Here you go, buddy. Hold that and one, too, and burn it up for me. oysters on the wild side the other day, too. I was just about to say that, John. Thank you so much. We're going to go over here, and we're going to spin that wheel of Rectech and see what everybody's going to win 
Man, I know I got some marshmallow on my face. Don't show me wiping it off, Jordan. Look like a maniac. Are we a shirt today, too? Because this is a limited edition. So, yeah, show them the uh, Fun Day Friday shirt. I think we should give give one of those away. At least, Jerry. Uh, yeah, let's just do one. All right, so I think the hashtag for the win has got to be Buffalo Ribs Rock. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's so if you want to win yourself, limited edition, you can't buy these. Can't buy them, baby. This is the Fun Day Friday t-shirt. Go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Buffalo Ribs Rock. Okay, all right. So... Um, this is the Wheel of Rec Tech, everyone. You can see all of the awesome prizes on there. Whose turn is it, Greg? Is it your turn? Uh, you want to rock, paper, is scissors? Is it John's turn? Yeah. yeah. Rochambeau. Rochambeau. Uh, one, two, three, shoot. All right. Only one. Uh, one, one, two, two three, three, shoot. Ah, uh, you win. Greg gets to do it. So what's the two rules to spinning the Wheel of Rec Tech, Greg? You got to spin it clockwise. Okay. okay. That's going to be in this direction. And you have to spin it with the utmost confidence. Shoot, yeah. So here we go. Uh, you, it also helps to align it with the prize. There you go. Well, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's go 590. Okay, I because like it. We gave us 700 away okay. last week. And if you guys want to pick up the ultimate grill right now, the comp carts for the 590 and the 700 are 50% off. Check us out at rectechgrills.com. But here mm. we go. Let's let it go flying. Good Three, break. two, one. Go! All right, guys, all you have to do is like this video and share this video. That is it. Like this video and share this video for your chance to win whatever the Wheel of Rec Tech lands on. Oh my God, I love s'mores. Oh. Probably could have made a couple of s'mores with as many times as went around down. the... Uh, right? It's here we go. Down. Come on. It's slowing down. Come on. Seven. Uh, lands on come on. Come on. I'm going to die. Come on. That 590. Was spin, 590. Greg. Oh! oh you can win yourself a fantastic Rec Tech Grills cookbook, and I will even up the ante and the prize value of this a little bit. We'll go ahead and sign that cookbook and send it out to you. So if you mm. guys want to win the first volume, which means there's going to be more Shoot, yeah. of the Rec Tech Grills cookbook, all you got to do, smash that share button and like this post. That's it. That's it. And then to win yourself a limited edition Fun Day Friday t-shirt. It's got a pocket on the front. It's got the RTG logo. And it's got the Fun Day Friday logo on the back. Look at that. Pink, white, and blue. I mean, who it's doesn't for want a you. pocket Is tea? it pink or is that like a reddish? That's nah, a salmon. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, a washed it's a red. It's, it's a, a washed yeah. red. But, uh, but again, guys, all you have to do is put hashtag... Buffalo ribs? Buffalo ribs rock. Buffalo ribs rock. We really do appreciate you guys for tuning in once again for an amazing episode of Fun Day Friday. We do this every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard on the Rectangles Facebook page. But if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell and subscribe to our channel. Watch the next video and help us out. We really would appreciate it. Leave a comment in the comment section as well. But guys, thank you so much. Uh, Mondays. What are all the things we do on Mondays? We got a lunch break. No, we don't have nope. any lunch breaks on Mondays. You got Mail Day Monday. Mail Day Monday at 2 p.m. on Instagram. We got uh, Backyard and Beyond, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard on Facebook. Then Tuesdays, we got lunch break at 12 noon Eastern Standard on Facebook. Then we got nothing. We're off, thank goodness. Wednesdays, guys, we're coming back with more content. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is after, after hours. No, it's only it after ask hours. Ask us anything, or is that on Tuesdays? That's Thursdays. on Tuesdays. All right, so ask us anything. Ask Tuesdays. us anything on Tuesday. Man, we got a lock. I know. And guys, check out our hour. check out our social media for that whole entire list. That's even right. though I messed it up. And Wednesdays we got after hours, seven, uh, five p.m. on Facebook. And then Thursday we got lunch break at twelve o'clock on, on YouTube. YouTube. You've also got product spotlight four o'clock mm -hmm. on Instagram. Right. And then if you're up kind of late. Sometimes you call it mix it up munchies. Sometimes it's late night munchies. Late night backyard. The name changes, but 11 o'clock uh, on Facebook. And I think it's jumping over to Instagram here right. shortly. That's right. Check Should out we? Chef John for mix it up late night munchies. We'll just go ahead and kind of meld that name together. I like it. I like it. And then every Friday at 12 noon Eastern right here on Facebook. And you can check it after the fact on YouTube. Shoot you. But it's fun day Friday because there's no better way to end the week. All right, you got to push, put hashtag Buffalo Ribs Rock in the comments section to win the t-shirt. 
You got to like the, this video and share this video in order to win the cookbook on YouTube. Just put a comment in the comment section. We love you. Guys, we just love you. And, and ring that bell. Don't forget we go live on Twitter right after we go off the air on here. He's already doing his hair under his hat. He's all, <laughs> uh, Jordan Johnson is getting it uh, ready. Um, John, anything? Did I miss anything? We, we announced a winner on TikTok. That's we had right. a TikTok giveaway. So make sure you follow us on there. That's right. Oh, man. Uh, that's it. That's all we Ribs got, four ways. Make sure you watch the whole entire video. We also did some s'mores. Why not? Why not, baby? Because they're delicious. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go eat me another one. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Bill Gillespie. Do, Alex Stella. Brandon Morris. Brandon Kenny Butts. Kenny Butts. Richard Laney. And John Dillon. Larry Moody. Gilbert Gasca. Heather Ann. Justin Pass. John Jewell. Simon Morales. Kenny Butts. Kenny Butts. Craig Leinhardt.